Anthrax makes for a good biological weapon because it doesn't die easily. Anthrax is a spore, and a spore is very difficult to kill because it has a protective shell on it, very similar in composition to the protein in your fingernail. So it's a very tough shell, which essentially acts like a, a suit of armor for this bacteria. In 2001, when anthrax lace letters were sent to a Senate office building in Washington, D.C., chlorine dioxide gas was the treatment of choice. The decontamination process took three months, in part because chlorine gas itself is toxic and needed to be removed after it was finished killing the anthrax. Chlorine is a gas, uh, so essentially it diffuses, and diffusion is a very slow process. It takes a long time for uh, chlorine to essentially move through that black uh, uh, protective shell. It could take uh, uh, hours or, or depending on the concentration, e even longer. Kilbania says he's discovered a safer formula found in a product he designed called Ygene that can kill anthrax in minutes without creating its own toxic environment. Essentially our military grade, homeland security grade of, of Ygene uh, can kill anthrax on contact. We've had some independent lab uh, work done on this and shows that it works very rapidly and doesn't have any of the corrosive, uh, especially the iron characteristics that this chlorine dioxide did. It works using a special combination of soaps and surfactants that creep through the spore shell and kill the microorganism inside. And because it works so fast, the product is designed to quickly break down and evaporate on its own. Dr. Philip Tierno has tested the product on non-lethal strains of anthrax. It could be applied as a foam. It could be applied as a liquid. It could be applied as a spray. And going over the whole building, it would require uh, less than 10 minutes to effectively kill anything it came in contact with. So there would probably be no reapplication. BioNeutral is looking to get the product tested by the Department of Homeland Security and the Department of Defense. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.